Y'all see my hair, it's a mess. It's all over my head and kids yelling in the background. Today I'm gonna show you my favorite family recipe. It's a cake. It's called hummingbird cake. Up next. So this is gonna seem like a lot of ingredients, but it's really not that much. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is measure out three cups of flour. Then you're gonna measure out two cups of sugar. Grace, you can go ahead. Grace is my helper. She's gonna dump the sugar in the flour. Go ahead, baby. Mm hmm Then you measure out, let me go ahead and finish that off. I have a teaspoon of cinnamon. Uh oh. I have a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of baking soda in there. Dump. Do it. It's a very yummy. Sugar wouldn't come out. There we go. That's pretty good. Alright, then I have two cups of banana. And so that ends up being about four bananas mashed up. And to mash, you just use your fork and you press into the banana until it's mashed up. Ta-da! Next, we have three eggs beaten. Put that in there. So you want to beat them up first. Next, we have one and a half cups of oil. Oil? And for this, we're using olive oil. I'm not for sure how it'll turn out because usually we use vegetable it's oil, but I don't typically buy vegetable oil. So I'm going to use what's what's on hand today, and I guess we'll just do it. And then we have a small can of crushed pineapple. Crushed pi and you dump pineapple. it in there, juice and all. Okay, so now all you do is gently mix up the batter. You don't want to over mix this batter. You just want to make sure all the ingredients are incorporated, it's and then you're going to put it in your butt pan. I almost forgot, as we're mixing, two cups of pecans, or any nut of your choosing. Why oh, can't I forget that? You can't have hummingbird cake without nuts. Well done. Yeah, the cake is done. So guys, this cake cooked at 325 for an hour and 20 minutes. All right, now it's time to go around the edges with a fork or a knife and release it from the pan. All right, guys, it's released from the pan. As you can see, some of the top pieces didn't release so well. Ooh, you fell in there. I'll eat that. And But it's perfectly fine. You know why? Because you don't eat it from this side. You eat it from the other side. So let's flip it over, and then we'll talk about icing. Okay, so here you have it flipped over. Now what, what I do is I usually take a couple of... Uh, eight ounce containers of cream cheese and mix it with enough icing um, powdered sugar to my taste and that's what I make my icing from and then I just slather it all over the cake however this cake doesn't really need any type of icing um, some people just eat it regular you can eat it kind of like as a breakfast breakfast toffee cake or you can put icing on it and we prefer cream cheese icing do whatever you choose let me show you how to make this icing real quick. All right, fellow bakers and cookers alike, I have found for best results with my cream cheese icing to start with cold cream cheese, all right? I'm not gonna measure this, but <clears throat> my goal is to just add a little bit at a time, okay? Because I'd rather it be not sweet enough and have to add more than too sweet and then there's like nothing you can do about that. So I'm just putting this in my stand mixer. You can use a hand mixer. And I'm just gonna beat it until it's, the, or mix it until it's the consistency that I want. And I'm just gonna keep tasting it until it tastes like what I want. Okay, so this is my icing. For me guys, it's the thicker the better. However, if you like an icing that's a little bit more loose, you can add milk to it. You can also put some vanilla in it if you just want that extra little bloop bloop. But here's my cake, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I'm done icing. There it is, my messy, messy cake. Yummy. All right, guys, now for the piece de resistance. And I can smell it. Like, it smells ridiculous. I already know. Yes. 
olive oil didn't change it one bit guys so you can substitute that out however you choose thanks for watching this video on how to make delicious family secret recipe hummingbird cake bye bye